What's up, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. I'm not breaking a box today because it's Monday, which means Monday mail day. So here's more mail that I've uh, collected from the past week or so um, that we'll go through today. Go ahead and bust these open in just a second. And in the background, you see Kobe and LeBron slams picked up both of those in last week's mail day video. So go ahead and check that one out from last Monday if you haven't yet. Made a lot of good progress on a couple sets uh, like the Slam and the Hoops Tribute. Um, so getting into our first packages here, I think, oh, and I finally replaced the blade <laughs> on my knife so I can actually cut into things now without uh, destroying the packages. Let's see how it works on the uh, tape as well. Very nice. Okay. So first package, we got Julius the Dr. Irving. This is the last card I needed for the Hoops Tribute Slam set. So, or not Tribute Slam, the Hoops Tribute subset. Uh, so this set's finally complete. Again, I like to put together all the base sets. This set is technically part of the base set. It's a subset, not an insert set, but these cards are pretty rare, falling about one, maybe two. Uh, per hobby box and it's a 20 card set so not super easy to put together not hard um, but again definitely harder than just finding base cards from a regular uh, retail release like hoops and donruss and, and things like that but that set's finally complete now that i got uh, the doctor and next package i think will bring us a little bit closer to another set boom zion so after all the hoops we've opened here on the channel, had, hadn't hit this Zion uh, slam insert yet, but we got the Kobe and the LeBron back there. Now the Zion, these are probably the three biggest cards in the set. The Luka's a pretty big card as well, and uh, Ja to an extent. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this. Like I said last time, I think the prices on these slams are definitely dropping. Uh, you can find them a lot cheaper uh, than you could when the, uh, when the set first came out. Um, I've actually, now I've bought all the cards, uh, either bought or traded for all the cards in the set. Um, there's a, just a few left that I'm waiting to get uh, shipped over to me. Uh, but once those come in, the set will be complete. So definitely making a lot of good progress on completing all these sets that I've been working on for a while. Now let's move on to some other stuff. So we got here. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I thought I got scanned for a second. Um, looks like they threw, or is this, this the front of the card? Yeah, I guess that's the way it looks. Let's, let's take a closer look here and make sure. So this is uh, John Wallace Rookie Fleer Ultra Platinum Medallion. Yeah, I guess it was hard to tell at first when I looked at the card. Um, the Platinums in this first year don't look that different than the base. And when I first looked at it for a second, I thought it was the base. There's a little bit of extra shimmer in the, the name. And you can see on the back, P76 for platinum. So we know it's the we know it's the platinum by looking at the numbering on the back. But yeah, the card itself doesn't really look that I don't have the base right next to me, so I can't show the difference. Um, but these are really rare, not easy to come by, um, especially for a set that's you know 25 years old. Um, but happy to add that one to the PC. I've been looking for a while. Couldn't find one for a decent price. There was one on eBay that was way overpriced and finally found one for a pretty good price. So I was happy to add that. I think I now have his full uh, Series 1 and Series 2 rainbow when it comes to the base, gold, and platinum medallions. And I think we got another John Wallace here, if I'm not mistaken. Just got to be a little careful. Don't want to cut the card. Okay, that's good enough. And here we go. EX2000 credentials, serial numbered to 499. I've been looking for this one for about a year. Could not find it uh, anywhere. Nobody was putting any of them up for sale. Condition's a little rough. Um, you can see, you know, kind of foil peeling here, centering's not the best, but I wasn't concerned about condition at all with this card. It's so hard to find in any condition. 
Um, and when these do come available, they're usually not cheap. Um, so just happy to add this one, uh, finally taking off uh, more of the, the rare cards. Let's get this out of its case. Uh, rare John Wallace rookie cards that I needed. Uh, there might be only a few left that I still need, but I think I've gotten uh, with these two now, the, the Platinum Medallion and the Credentials. Those are two of the bigger ones. I still need it from his rookie year as far as uh, super rare stuff is concerned. All right, next package. Let's see what we got in here. This one is, ooh, shipped it in a one touch. Nice. Uh, 1994 Finest Refractor. So this is uh, second year of Topps Finest. And again, Alonzo Mourning, I think, had two cards. Uh, in this set as well, both refractors. This is the base one. There's also a Collegiate's Best subset that he has a refractor that I don't have yet, but I'm getting closer to getting all the tops finest. So last video, I, I pulled the last uh, Alonzo Morning Chrome refractor that I needed uh, as far as base uh, base refractors are concerned. And I think I only need one, maybe two uh, base refractors in tops finest to have all of his tops finest refractors so that's a nice one to add to that refractor chase and then i think we got another morning in here if i'm not mistaken let's get all this tape off of here Ooh, i see some nice serial numbering on the back of that yeah, sometimes people go a little overboard with the tape. I don't think we need this much tape. All right, should be enough to at least get the card out. Okay, this is a stadium club, a one of a kind. Uh, so it's called one of a kind. It's not really a, a one of one. I think there might be one of one parallels, but I've never seen those. Uh, so Stadium Club, you can see it has its one of a kind. So it's a parallel from the base card. And these are numbered out of 150. So you can see this one's 10 of 150. So again, another rare card that just doesn't come up very often. Got a pretty good deal on this. I think I spent under 30 bucks on it, uh, which again, cards that are numbered like this. I know 150 sounds like a lot now because it's super low numbered stuff now is like you know to five and to ten and and things like that but uh these cards back in the 90s only had one parallel with 150 of them there weren't you know 40 different parallels in a set so just one parallel to 150 a little bit harder to come by uh, than a lot of the serial numbered stuff that you see now in most modern sets yeah, okay Next up, we got, all right, Kevin Durant Rookies. So I actually, I have one of these already, but the one that I had, I wasn't really happy with the condition. Had kind of a big, uh, big nick taken out of the top here. And on all the pictures online that I saw of this one, it looked really good. Uh, maybe at the bottom here, there's a little bit of white on the on the bottom and centering it's hard to tell with this card with the since it's all black but the centering is definitely heavy on the left than on the right uh, but the back looked pretty clean as well not a lot of white showing um, so I actually got this for a really good price I think it was about 80 bucks um, looking at this now it looks like it might have a shot at a PSA 8 I would doubt it's, it's definitely wouldn't get a 10 it probably won't get a 9 but I think it looks like it could uh, get an eight. We'll have to see how much the centering holds it back, but the corners and edges are pretty good, um, at least for what, what I would consider an eight to get. So I figure this is worth sending in the PSA, see if we can get an eight. Um, you know, if we bought it raw for 80 bucks and PSA eights are selling for, I think, over $400 right now, if I'm not mistaken. So that would be a nice, uh, nice little profit to make. Not that I would sell it for the profit, but uh, to buy a raw card uh, and then have it kind of quadruple its value or more uh, after a grading. Okay, wow, this one came in. So sometimes people overpackage, sometimes they underpackage. This is an old yellow uh, piece of plastic, but we got Ginobili, 
tops black parallel. This one's numbered to 500. Um, pretty sure I got this card. Uh, I think I only paid 99 cents plus shipping for this, if I'm not mistaken. Number to 500. So last week I had the, I think it was the 0304 version. Um, and I like these these tops black cards are are a little bit thicker than a regular regular base card. But you know, always want to add serial number Ginobili cards whenever I can. And last card here, this is one I was real excited to show off. I won this in an auction. Um, I kind of thought the bidding might go a little bit higher. Um, so I was really happy with the price that I got it at. Didn't really have to overpay. Um, but cards like this seem to be getting snatched up quicker and the buy it now prices are getting higher and higher. So we got Top's Finest Blue X-Fractor with uh, authentic game-worn jersey inside. So I, I really like this Top's Finest set a lot. Uh, I've been adding a lot of the regular parallels uh, from his base card. And there's also this jersey card has a whole bunch of other parallels. I think there might be more parallels on the jersey card than the base card. But it's got a really cool blue X-Fractor design. And this one's numbered only 25 on the back. So this is one of the rarer. There might be one more rare, one or two more rare than this. Um, but was really happy to pick this one up for uh, right around 50 bucks. Um, and again, I, I'm looking for other parallels of this. And the ones I'm seeing on eBay have buy it now is of like two and $300. And they're not even as rare <laughs> as this one is. So I'll have to wait and see if any more auctions come up that I can maybe snag something uh, for a low price. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, so real quick recap, we got a couple of Ginobili's, both um, serial number to 500 and this blue X-Fractor to 25. Zion Slam and, and the Irving is completing uh, the tribute set. We got KD Rookie, which I'll probably be sending the PSA. A couple of rare John Wallace cards, uh, Platinum Medallion, as well as the Credentials to 499. And then a couple morning cards. Uh, this, for some reason, this refractor doesn't seem to pop up for sale very often. So glad I found this one when I did. And then this rare stadium club, one of a kind, numbered to 150. Uh, so that's our mail day for today. Stay tuned for more stuff coming this week. We should have some Don Rush retail tomorrow. So fat packs, a hanger, and a blaster. So that'll be really fun to go through. Um, I might have a new Brothers and Cards box this week. Uh, if it doesn't make it here this week, we'll definitely do it next week. And we'll have new uh, Flashback Friday stuff coming on Friday. So stay tuned for that as well. And thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.